Hi, Leo. So we're going to go ahead and get this week's energy for Leo, uh, sign of Leo, sun, moon, and rising. And it's going to be for July 1st through the 7th, 2021. So first thing we're going to get is the uh, overall energy. We're just going to get a theme. We're going to draw two cards and see how it's going for Leo. Okay, so let's see. Two cards for Leo. Let's see what your overall energy is this week. What's the overall energy for Leo July 1st through the 7th, 2021? <clears throat> so we have love. Ooh, I think somebody else got this. Pisces, maybe? So there's a lot of love in your life this week. Something to do with love. And let's see what else. Uh, it's like, look, I got two cards for you. Centering and thought. So love is kind of the center of your world this week. It's all in your thoughts. That's all you're thinking about. So some kind of love. New real connection, new love relationship. All right, so now we're going to get your current energy. What's your current energy, Leah? Well, it looks like there's a lot of love and centering and thoughts. All right, so let's see what your energy is, Leah. Okay, so we have the chariot. Something you're taking action on, like this is like your whole will, and it looks like it's really balanced and fair. And it's after a time of where you've really went through some rough times and gotten beaten up but you're really persevering and this love is moving in and it's like the center of your world it's all you can think about so let's go ahead and see what this person around you's energy is what's your other energy the person around leo the week of january 1st i mean july 1st For some reason i got january on my mind maybe this person was born in january let's say or you guys met in January, something like that. There's something we do with January. What's this person's energy that Leo is dealing with? July 1st through the 7th. So we have Six of Swords. They've gotten some rough, through some rocky rough times too, and they're heading to their victory. So, you know, they're persevering here. So there's something that you both have been. Through. It could have been separately, but you both have run through through some rough times. But it looks like all you guys are thinking about like this right now is each other. You're the center of each other's world. You're on your thought, constant thoughts. This love connection. Let's get another energy. Um, let's get a clarifier of the Six of Swords for your person. The energy. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, Knight of Wands. So yeah, they're moving forward with some passion here. It's beautiful. Sorry, this thing looks like it's crooked a little bit, Leah. But anyway, yeah, look, so this is something that's passionate. And look, it's an ace of pentacles. So it's this uh, new beginning in this material world. Yeah. And, you know, mastering emotions. So they really, like, have really deep thoughts for you and love for you as well. You know, and the king of wands, they had a lot. Look at the, look at all this energy. They have king of wands. You know, they're, they're going for... They're all passionate about you. They're going toward taking some action towards some emotional fulfillment with you on this new beginning. Yeah, and then they have the Ten of Cups. You, you are what makes them happy. So there's a lot of love and you guys are thinking about each other a lot here. All right, so now we're gonna get the outcome and what we're gonna do is pick a card from each of these decks, these four decks. So the two or Oracle and two um, Tarot. Yeah, for the week of January. January, I swear to God, this person might be more born in January or you guys met in January. I keep saying January. All right, over, over, outcome of this situation. The outcome. All right, so now we have change. Yeah, this is bringing a really good change in your life, you know? You guys could be making a decision maybe to move into each other or be exclusive or taking it to the next level. And then we have... perception yeah it's really changed your perception on, on, on things what makes you happy uh how life is like you might have been dull and glum and falling stuck and now you're really feeling good you're feeling you know really centered you're really feeling like it's loving thoughts and then we're gonna get a couple tara high priestess yeah yeah see this is just uh, like a spiritual connection here you just feel like you know this person for a long time. They, they kind of make you feel really good. Yeah, and then we do have the two of wands though. So there's some kind of choice that you're struggling with. It could be whether to take it to the next level to live with each other, uh, where to go from here, 
um, something that you're making a choice or just struggling about, like which which way, which path to go. But you are really feeling connected. You both look really connect together and have a lot of feelings and thoughts, good thoughts about each other. So it really looks like an energy this week that you are really connecting with somebody um, and feeling really well. So that's your message, Leah. So have a great week. <laughs> Take care. Bye.